For many drivers, the section of Cambridge Street between Harvard Street and the Charles River is just a multi-lane entrance ramp to the Mass Turnpike. But for people in the surrounding neighborhoods, the street's a hazard and a barrier. They've been trying to make it safer and less unattractive. And part of the effort is a rally planned for next Tuesday morning. To tell us about the campaign is an Alston resident and bicyclist, Harry Madison. Thank you very much for being with us, Harry. Thank you, Chris. Start, uh, Harry, w w with the, the things that have people worried, things that happened recently that uh, are driving this rally. Uh, sure. Well, people are worried every day when they walk out the front door of their house and Drive, drive down Cambridge Street, walk, try and get to the, a bus stop, ride a bike to the Charles River. Uh, it's a, honestly, it's a terrifying experience and uh, it's unsafe. It's a street where there have been multiple cyclists and uh, pedestrians hit by cars and killed. And that needs to change really uh, immediately. Well, describe this, the layout of the street for people who are not familiar with it. I know from Union Square to Harvard, it's kind of congested and cramped. And you know, once you get through the lights, you start going beyond that toward the pike, it's uh, like it's a breeze and uh, people really take off, I think. Yeah, so for a little bit of history, you know, when the Mass Turnpike was built, initially the Turnpike uh, stopped in Alston. Uh, before they built the extension that goes today underneath the Prudential and down to uh, South Station, the Turnpike first ended in Alston. And so all the traffic that traveled in from the west got off onto Cambridge Street in Alston in the early 60s. Uh, so what happened was Cambridge Street was built to be the end of the Mass Turnpike and have uh, you know, in just huge numbers of cars driving down it. Of course, the Turnpike's extended now. A lot of that traffic continues on into downtown. But we still have Cambridge Street 50 uh, plus years later built as a very, very short but intensely used highway. And as you say, once you uh, clear some of those traffic lights and even before, as a driver, you you know, you're, feel like you're on a highway and you're ready to fly. Uh, unfortunately, that means that if you're trying to cross the street as a pedestrian or ride your bike to uh, you know, the Charles River or Central Square in Cambridge, you really are taking your life in your own hands. Any recent accidents that people are concerned about? Uh, well, two pedestrians have been killed this year on, uh, on uh, Cambridge Street. I think maybe one was last year, uh, one was last week, and one was a uh, young boy killed uh, closer to Union Square. So this is really is an issue that goes from uh, the Union Square end of Cambridge Street all the way uh, up to the Charles River. So what do people want? What, what would like to see, at least in the short term? Well, in the short term, there's a whole set of measures that could be taken uh, relatively inexpensively. Uh, you could start with paint, you could start with Jersey barriers, and uh, look at some ways to make things, can you make things a foot narrower here? Can you uh, make things more visible? Could you improve uh, lighting on the sidewalks? Uh, maybe some signage? Uh, I think there's a whole set of things like that that wouldn't uh, adversely impact the drivers at all and would still let people get onto the turnpike just fine, uh, but would also make things considerably safer for uh, pedestrians and cyclists. Yeah, and, and of course, maybe we can explain that a little bit more because this is a street, it's a very wide street, so if you're trying to cross it as a pedestrian, you're exposing yourself a lot, but there isn't a lot of traffic given the width of that street. Uh, you, you could put that into less room and, and there would still be no problem, probably. Uh, you know, it depends on the time of day and there are some problems. I mean, North Harvard Street coming down from Harvard Square is the only way to get north-south. And so you do have uh, some real clogging as whether you're coming up from Brookline or crossing from Watertown to Cambridge. Uh, you know, that it is a crucial link in kind of the whole region's transportation uh, system from Cambridge, uh, Brookline, Boston, Watertown and beyond, uh, and as well as the Mass Pike. But there are, certainly are opportunities to uh, strike a better balance between the uh, you know, safety of pedestrians and cyclists as well as the need for cars to uh, you know, get from here to there. Well, as we mentioned, you're a cyclist. What should be done for the cycle traffic? Uh, well, the city has plans they've been working on for months. Uh, we have, at this point, no idea when they're actually going to be implemented. Uh, but it would be great to see those implemented real soon. And... You know, two of the most dangerous places where there's the most room for improvement is where the Mass Pike ramps meet Cambridge Street. You have these on-ramps that are, it's like this launching pad, quite literally, as you're uh, traveling towards the Doubletree Hotel on the river. These two super wide lanes, 
it just car, I mean, you know, again, you have people doing 50, 60 miles an hour to get up those ramps. Um, that could definitely be moderated. Um, and then you have the off ramps as you're coming off the turnpike onto Cambridge Street. On the other side where, again, it's these two lanes, cars come whipping around out of that turn. And if you're on a bicycle, trying to cross that is really, uh, really treacherous. And so um, I think there are modifications in both those places where um, we really hope the city and uh, Mass DOT will act immediately. I can see how this is a great connector for, for recreational uh, biking along the river, but, but how important is this for people taking bikes to work, Alston to Cambridge or vice versa? Oh, it's, uh, well, there's two sides to that. One is how many people use it today who are generally young, experienced, uh, maybe somewhat fearless or uh, brash, you might say, who ride that road today. And then there's the even bigger group, right? How many thousands of people would ride on Cambridge Street if it was safe, if you looked at it and your friends weren't telling you, no, don't ride on that street. Uh, and it actually was the kind of inviting, safe road that it could be. I think then, then you're talking, right, much, much larger numbers. And I think that's the kind of streets and you know, transportation system that we're trying to get to as a society. Tell me a little bit about uh, what you have planned for the, for the rally next week. Uh, sure. So on Tuesday morning at 8 o'clock, uh, the advocacy groups Livable Streets Alliance and Walk Boston, uh, along with uh, large groups of neighbors and uh, other folks who commute through the area, are going to be meeting at 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, we have some elected officials who are uh, planning to join us to can call on the city and the state to get these ideas off the drawing board and let's put them into, uh, you know, let's make them a reality really without uh, any further delay. By the way, is any uh, social media people should follow on this? Uh, sure, there's a uh, uh, Fix Cambridge Street and uh, People's Pike are two groups that you can look for on Facebook and Twitter. Great, thank you very much for being with us. Harry Madison, thank you. resident and bicyclist from Alston.